Super Friends and welcome to DC TV Talk and in today's episode we're going to be breaking down the new Season 7 trailer that was released for Arrow coming from the CW in the past 24 hours so let's discuss. So this new trailer that was released came out and it was the trailer we were all waiting for. This is the follow up to the Comic Con trailer that was very well received coming out of SDCC and now we have this new trailer which is maybe as good if not even better and it's got me even more hype for the upcoming season than I already was. So let's just go through each of the most talk about points of the trailer and let's break them down. So the trailer starts up and we see this new character who we found out very recently is going by the name of Stanley who goes up to Oliver and is basically telling him that he's a big fan of his work as the Green Arrow and he's also quitting some of those famous quotes, you know, you have failed this city. I love Oliver's expression and reaction to that, just, you know, showing how far he's come and he says, you know, I'm not really that person anymore. And you can see that he's really trying to keep his head down in prison. He's not trying to be the hero. He's not trying to be the big guy on campus. He's not trying to be the, you know, the, the guy in the yard, whereas this guy probably thinks he is. So it's quite interesting to see how Oliver is really turning into a different person ever since he was put behind bars and you can see that this character of Stanley is most likely going to be Oliver's only companion and friend in prison but it seems like he could be someone who perhaps starts off as being rather annoying when Oliver first meets him but as time goes on we'll see him develop into a bit more of a friend and a bit more of an ally as the episodes in prison go on. And sticking with that point, we see the return of the prison guard, who we saw in the other trailer, who is saying to Oliver that there are no heroes in here. And we can see that followed up by the shot of Oliver uh, pretty much getting detained after getting to a, a, fr a fight on the prison yard. And I love that shot of Oliver just putting his hands behind his head and just submitting the fact, again, he's not really fighting back. I think that's very interesting and obviously very unlike Oliver. So it's really cool to see, again, just see that character progression, see how far he's fallen, how different he's become. And it's just, again, it's a nice little interesting little twist to put on season seven to keep it fresh and keep it different. Different. We then move over to the SCPD where we get to see Dinah who is interrogating some criminal who we saw in the other trailer get shot by the new Green Arrow and this is where the new vigilante is brought up. So you know they're saying that Oliver Queen's in prison, this is not Oliver Queen and he's saying obviously there's now someone else who's dressing up in leather killing people as with a bow and arrow dressed as the Green Arrow. And obviously we get to see Dinah here getting involved in the trailer. This then leads into Black Siren who says that we, who is now the acting district attorney for Star City. So that's very interesting. I thought she was the mayor, but I was kind of close. She said it's the, she's the new district attorney, like Earth One Laurel was. And she's saying that there is reason to believe that somebody is dressing up and impersonating the Green Arrow, which is very, very true. Depending on who this character is, whether it is Roy Harper, if it's someone else entirely, there is someone else acting and also dressing up as the Green Arrow in order to keep his work going while Oliver is in prison. Whether Oliver is connected to it in any way, again, we'll just have to wait and see. But it's still interesting to see how Star City is reacting to the Green Arrow returning. And finally, we get this awesome little shot of the end, which is a continuation of a shot we've seen before, where we see Ricardo Diaz in the jungle chasing down Felicity and also William. Felicity and William are absolutely screaming for Oliver's help, and we see Ricardo Diaz come around the corner saying he can't help you as he pulls a gun on them. And this has been said many times before by myself and also many other YouTubers in the DC TV community. This is a nightmare sequence. This is Oliver having a nightmare in prison when obviously he can't protect Felicity, he can't protect William, he's completely isolated, he's by himself and he is fearful that Diaz obviously still being on the run, still being out there, that Diaz can track down Felicity and William at any point and do some serious damage and it seems like that is actually going to happen based on some photos and some trailer footage that we've seen already. It looks like Diaz does actually catch up to Felicity whether Felicity is in witness protection or not is a different question entirely, but we do know that at some point Felicity is going to get into some conflict, some combat with somebody who is most likely Ricardo Diaz. But this scene is very interesting. I like the fact that obviously they are chasing each other through a jungle. I think that's quite an interesting environment. And seeing obviously Ricardo Diaz being a very intimidating force, as he always has been, has tracked them down and is ready to make the kill. And again, I feel like as soon as this gunshot is fired, that is when Oliver will wake up in the prison and we'll see him continue on his day. Again, this is a nightmare sequence. It's not going to be real. This is not a real sequence. Also, we know that because Felicity has got pink hair going into season seven, whereas in this she's got her typical blonde hair that we're used to. So again, she's going to have a bit of a different look in season seven, whereas this is her traditional look. So again, another hint that this is a nightmare sequence, but it's still a cool action sequence was to see and I can't wait to see how Oliver kind of reacts to this and handles it after he does eventually wake up. What do you guys think about this new trailer for Arrow Season 7? I know this video was a bit short, but there really wasn't too much to go off of. I will say, while this trailer is very epic and very cool, it's got a very awesome music soundtrack behind it, and also I feel like the intensity is really dialed up to 11 for this trailer. It didn't show 
too much new. It's very much more of what we've seen before, expanding on scenes that we got in the previous trailer, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I like the fact that they are keeping, you know, the, the cards very close to the chest when it comes to Season 7, because they are trying to take it a lot more in a mysterious route, which I like, because normally with these sort of shows, you know, when you look at, even at, when you look at The Flash going into Season 5, we know a lot about that season. We really don't know a lot about what's going on in Season 7, and I think that's a really good choice on the showrunner's part. So I have to congratulate Beth Schwartz there. But this trailer was very, very good. Although, like I say, it didn't really show much new, it was still really cool just to see how this is expanding on and how Star City is dealing with the fact that Oliver Queen is now in prison, but the Green Arrow is still operating, and how all the other characters are faring. But make sure you let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. It'll help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone and everyone you know who loves DC TV and get them to join the community. And as always, guys, please subscribe for your latest content on Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Black Lightning. And with that said, guys, I hope to see you again in my next video.